Hi there, and thanks for joining me again for this week's edition of your Wheel and Anchor weekly newsletter. Last week, I was super excited to bring you our newest program at Wheel and Anchor, which we call Liveaways. And the idea behind our Liveaways programs is that we spend a longer period of time, generally a month or more, in a place that uh, we otherwise might not have thought of traveling to during those chilly winter months. Of course, a lot of us will head down to Florida or Mexico or other uh, traditional sun destinations, um, which is great. It's a great way to to, to escape the, the chilly winter months. But I think that, uh, you know, as our times evolve and the opportunities to travel to other parts of the world and perhaps the frequency that we want to travel is maybe um, not as much given, you know, the pandemic and everything else that's going on in the world, we thought we would develop something that um, allows us to both escape winter for a little bit, but at the same time, uh, enjoy the, the benefit of being with friends from back home, with, with members of the Wheel and Anchor community, as well as new friends that we can make um, in, in these interesting places overseas. And we, we launched uh, four different destinations that we're proposing to do next year, uh, including Cyprus, which is of course an island in the eastern part of the Mediterranean, uh, Madeira, uh, off the coast of Morocco, which is part of Portugal, uh, and uh, Koh Samui, an island here uh, just across from me actually in the Gulf of Thailand, uh, and New Zealand, of course, uh, we all know uh, where New Zealand is. Uh, and we got quite a bit of positive feedback. A number of people are really excited about the idea that they can spend some time uh, and, and just uh, explore on their own as well as participating in all of the excursions and programs that would be invariably part of the trip. But at the same time, doing things uh, at your own pace. And so I wanted to address a few of the questions uh, that some of our members had about uh, about this new concept of Liveaways programs. And um, first of all, a number of people asked about the size of the group. Uh, and uh, the one thing about the, the, the Liveaways program is, is that actually, in terms of the overall group, we're looking hopefully to get a larger group of people going. Um, it could be 20, 30, 40, or even more. Um, and the idea there is is that when we have free time, we'll have a broader selection uh, of people to, to hang out with um, during our free time, to go for a walk with in the morning, to grab a glass of wine at a local vino take, uh, and, and that kind of an experience. So, But the important thing is I always maintain about traveling is when you're sightseeing, when you're touring around with a guide, that's when, uh, particularly on these trips, we're gonna go with small groups. So it could be 10 to 12 people, it might be a little bit less, it might be a couple more, but the, the focus is that um, regardless of how many people um, actually come with us on the live away, um, we'll be doing our touring around in smaller groups. So you will be able to uh, explore and, and understand and learn all about the place that you're in um, without having to to go around with 30 or 40 people like uh, like some other groups do. Um, uh, a, a, another couple of people asked us about, what about solo travelers? Well, we haven't released pricing yet. There was indicative pricing uh, in, in the back part of, uh, of the pamphlet covering liveaways. And if you didn't get that, by the way, you can um, click on the link below and, and, uh, and, and get yourself a copy of that, have a look through it. So the way we're looking to structure this is that uh, primarily to have junior suites or or one bedroom uh, small apartments in apartment hotels or condos, sort of a co accommodation that would be suitable for spending a bit longer period of time. Um, and so we also wanna make sure that we accommodate all of our solo travelers. And we have, a, there's a lot of us at, at Wheel and & Anchor. And so the idea there is, is that we may have solo travelers be in, in studios or sort of more conventional type hotel rooms, ample space for one person, uh, the idea being to try to make the the, the cost difference as small as possible. Um, so I think that we have, a, 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 at least based on the numbers that I've seen, we have a number of solo travelers that are keen on the idea of a program, and I think actually it would be a great way to uh, meet other people that you might want to travel on conventional trips with, as well as, uh, as, as, as meeting people in these exciting destinations. Um, just a, a couple other questions that were asked about uh, the details of the accommodation. Yeah, we, we haven't sorted out all that. I'm working with our partners now with my team um, to suss out exactly the places that we would stay. The main point being that we're gonna try to find very centrally located places um, that you can get around on foot 
so that you know local restaurants and cafes and uh, other sites and things to do are are quite nearby, uh, and that you uh, limit the uh, amount that you have to travel too far away. Um, obviously, access to to public transportation is going to be important as well, and I know that. While some members might uh, be interested in, in renting a car in some of these places, others will not. Um, and so I think that regardless of that, we'll make sure that you're in a place where you're, you're, you're going to have the, as I say, the ability to get out and walk around on your own. Uh, and um, finally, there was, uh, uh, there, was, there was numerous questions. I just wanted to cover a few of the key ones. Um, someone asked about um, if they want if they didn't want to take an excursion that was in the program do we need to pay for it so the idea there is is that we want to include a, a sort of a smattering of the best programs for that particular destination uh, and so that way you are insured to see those main highlights that you want to see and then of all the other trips that we might do so if we go for four weeks uh, we might have uh, 12 or 15 different trips but I would say half of those would probably be on an optional basis. So therefore, join us if you want. If you don't want, you don't have to join us. That way, again, you can set your own pace, do the things that you want to do, and, and we're going to enable it so that you can venture off and, and do some of the things on your own. So you don't necessarily always have to travel with a group. So the idea here is maximum flexibility, uh, enjoying the company of your, uh, of your fellow travelers from back home in Canada, uh, and uh, at the same time, um, having, having an opportunity to explore some of these wonderful places. So as I said before, if you haven't already had a look at our Liveaways brochure, please do, uh, please do, uh, please do that. And uh, inside that there is a survey as well, which many of you have already filled in. Um, take a few moments, complete that, uh, and uh, let us know your thoughts about this program. If it's the type of thing that appeals to you, we're busily working away, getting ready to um, launch it for next year. And I'm hoping that the first couple of programs will be out by, uh, by the mid to the latter part of January. And so far, because uh, I know you're curious to know, Cyprus and Madeira uh, seem to be the, the absolute favorites, um, close behind being uh, Koh Samui in Thailand, uh, and quite a number of people interested in New Zealand as well. So we'll see how it all pans out. Our idea is to offer all four. Uh, we just wanna make sure we have enough people together uh, to make it a fun trip. So apart from all that, just a one more reminder coming up next week, we have our, uh, the th uh, third edition of our, sorry, fourth edition of our Incredible Rail Journeys um, programs. Um, we're gonna be focusing on two amazing trips in Australia, the Indian Pacific, which goes from east to west, uh, and the Gan, uh, which is a, a rail journey from the very south and from Adelaide in Australia up to Darwin in the north. We're going to be talking about those next week on December the 9th. Please do join us. Again, you'll find a, a, a link to uh, register for that in the blog below. I look forward to catching up with you again next week. I, I'm hoping that you're all, that you're staying well, you're staying healthy, uh, considering all of the, the madness that's going on. Uh, but we can see the light at the end of the tunnel and I'm optimistic we'll be back to traveling again before too long. So in the meantime, take care, stay healthy, and uh, we'll see you next week.